This is Witchbase News for Friday the 31st of January 2020. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...low temperature diamonds get a visit from the nerf bat ...Drew Wager's lore tour gets dates and an itinerary ...and Frontier joins the game blast in aid of special effect. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. One of the changes made to the game in the January update dealt with the sale price of previously valuable mined materials such as void opals, painite and low temperature diamonds. The idea behind the change was that the hilariously pricey billionaire enabling space rock sale price would after the change be subjected to the more fickle and malleable ebb and flow of market forces meaning prices would fluctuate more noticeably and force commanders with colossal cargo holds heaving with booty from the depths to seek out the best price rather than go to where they went last time they went mining. Stations that use more raw resources would have a higher demand when they were running low and stations that had no use for the rocks wouldn't give you a decent price. The mechanic should have the effect of essentially generating gold rushes that change according to the flow of delivery. It seems however that as far as low temperature diamonds were concerned things weren't working as intended and the prices for the precious stones were remaining artificially high. The same cannot be said for painite and void opals however for example those price points both plummeted like a speed bowler. Frontier announced yesterday that they were implementing a fix on the very day this video is being recorded that will bring the low temperature market back in line. Q collective screaming across the mining community. With such close community scrutiny of the market prices after the patch it became apparent that the price a station offered you for your precious cargo was reflected in how much of the commodity you had in your hold. The more of a given item you have the less you're offered for it. Frontier stated in their forum post on this subject yesterday that this was always the case but the large amount of feedback they've received on that particular aspect of mining will be passed back to the team responsible for it. So the bottom line is that there is less profit per tonne if you sell in bulk. If you use a smaller ship there is more work travelling back and forth with your haul but you'll see more profit per tonne with that haul. It remains to be seen later this year what effect if any mining themed fleet carriers will have on all of this. You could argue that there is room here to park a fleet carrier with a hold full of goods in a system and then ferry smaller loads back and forth in a service ship like a type 6 or a hauler to maximise the value of the total haul. We still don't know what extra features carriers will bring in any regard but we did speculate about this very thing in the video that is linked on screen right now. Renowned elite author and lawmeister Drew Wager has published the itinerary and details for his Law Tour expedition that is setting out on the 2nd of April and continuing weekly through to the 18th of June. The tour will take in notable sights and sounds in the backstory of Elite and its many years of events and story with each stop on the way being highlighted by a livestream from Drew and a guide to the lore of the week. It should be a fascinating event for new commanders and seasoned veterans alike and given that Drew himself is responsible for writing a lot of the lore in the first place it will be coming direct from the horse's mouth. Links are below to get involved. Frontier announced today that they will be participating in Game Blast 20 the annual fundraising effort from the charity Special Effect that provides specialist and bespoke technology to the disabled to allow them to play video games. The team at Frontier will be running a 24 hour livestream featuring all of their current titles including Elite Dangerous. As well as games there will be other activities involving the team at Frontier and an opportunity for viewers to win prizes. We've no confirmation as yet that Will Flanagan will be taking a massive custard pie to the face for the good of a charitable livestream event in aid of the disabled and would like to squash that awesome and worthwhile rumour right here and now. 
Whilst we're positive that that is something Will would of course dearly love to do we at the Burr Pit would never put any undue pressure on Will. Right guys? Right? Hello? For more details on anything we've talked about in the show this week then check out the video description below. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos and if you want to help support the work of this channel you'll also find links below to Patreon. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.